am I a failure if I don't get up at 5 a.m.? Is my business not going to succeed? Like people were truly in fear over this. So I would love to just squash this right here, right now. So it depends on who you speak to. You're speaking to someone. I am someone who lives life in the middle and I don't believe in extremes. I don't believe there's a one size fits all uh, self-care kit or health and well-being kit that fits each person. If you're a new mom and you're pumping and you're breastfeeding in the middle of the night, I mean, that's not going to, that's not going to work for you. And I, I know maybe you're on maternity leave or whatever it is. Maybe you're not getting up at 5 a.m., but, but I don't believe that. What I do love is if you can commit to getting up 30 minutes before your regular wake up time, up to an hour to experience that hour of power. And if not the hour of power, then 30 minutes where you can just kind of either journal or meditate or do some yoga flows or get up and you know read the newspaper with a cup of coffee, something to refill your cup, to do nourishing activities for yourself. That I really include. So it's not a 5 a.m. wake up club, but I do encourage my women to wake 30 to 45 minutes before everyone in their house or before, and it doesn't have to happen every day. And there's no punishment if it doesn't happen every day. But I, but I, it really helps when you set the day, when you start the day, having refilled your cup and given to yourself, um, you will feel better. So I'm not for the 5 a.m. club, but I am for any kind of, like I said, waking up early, not necessarily hour of power. And please cut yourself some slack. If you're not, if, you, if you're tired, if you didn't sleep well the night before, then some self-forgiveness, self-compassion and self-love is in order.